Hey everybody, happy Saturday. It's Saturday morning, bright and early, and I wanted to pop on and share a little bit about my November goal. So I wanna start bringing more videos and more value to this YouTube channel, and I thought I'd start, what better way to start at the beginning of the month with some goals. So I'll share my personal goals with you guys for the month of November in the hopes that it will inspire you to take some time, reflect on some goals that you might have for this month and this season. I know it's super hard to feel motivated this time of year, but just know that your body body is still functioning it needs you it needs you to take care of it and your mental health needs you to take care of it and so um, set some goals for yourself on how to end 2018 strong and enter 2019 feeling good versus feeling regretful for the last two months so um, these are my November goals and again I hope they inspire you to set some for yourself as well my first goal is to continue on with my morning routine. I am big about starting your mornings off with some soul filling activities what I do is I come downstairs I have the the living room to myself, my husband and baby are still upstairs sleeping, and I um, put on some music, I read my Bible, I pray, I journal, I do affirmations, and I work out. And that time is my time. I do it even on the weekends. It's a way that I can fill up my cup before I pour into my family and take care of my family, before I go to work and take care of my patients. I'm a registered dietitian. So I really believe that taking care of yourself is so important before you can start taking care of other people. So I'll do another video on just this this topic probably in the next couple weeks on how to establish your morning routine and get started because I know a lot of people reach out to me about how can you wake up so early how can you do that every morning I wake up with the alarm blaring and my kids are all over the place and it just takes time and it takes habit and it takes consistent the choice to get up and the decision to get up not waiting for the feeling of motivation to strike you to get out of bed but stay tuned for that video I will go more into depth about that in the next coming weeks so that's my first goal to continue on with my morning routine my second goal is to spend less money on groceries. This is something that's really hard for me. I love grocery shopping. I love perusing the aisles and taking my time and um, impulsively going to grocery stores and seeing what's new. And so I really want to be careful about that this month. We, um, we're going on vacation this month. We went on vacation the past couple months. And as you know, you, you tend to spend more on vacations because you eat out and you enjoy yourself. So I really wanna be cognizant of the money I spend this month on our groceries and just try to use up what's at home and make creative meals out of what's at home before going out and before spending more money um, on groceries. So that is a big goal of mine. We do have an Aldi's near us, which I know I always save money when I'm at Aldi's, but I haven't had very good luck with their produce. Their things go bad really fast. And so if you guys have any tips on how to successfully shop at Aldi's, let me know. But most of my grocery store trips are Trader Joe's and Sprouts. And I always shop sales at Sprouts and make sure that I'm being smart with my money. Um, but yes, that is my second goal, spend less money on groceries. My third goal is to be more patient with my family, which goes along with my morning routine. So I have an 18 month old daughter and I'm pregnant with our second daughter and I have been so tired this pregnancy and my daughter still needs me. You know, my 18 month old, she's running around all over the place. She wants to play, she's discovering new things and I'm exhausted running around after her. So that's where my morning routine comes in is I need that morning time to, again, take care of myself so that I can fully give myself to my family and Emma and I have more energy when I wake up early and I take care of myself and I work out and I fill up my cup so that I can run around after my toddler and take care of her. So um, that is my third goal is patience and remembering that this is just a season and um, you know tiredness comes and goes and it's okay and I am pregnant. So giving myself grace with that. My fourth goal is to continue lifting weights throughout this pregnancy. I know a lot of women when they're pregnant, they just like to go on walks or they like to not work out at all. And it's super important to still move your body as long as you've been cleared by your doctor to do so. I highly recommend lifting weights. Um, you can't really go above 25 pounds is the recommendation, but that's still plenty of, of weight to kind of maintain your muscle tone. A lot of women post labor turn into jello. We lose our muscle mass, we lose our muscle tone, and we have to start from square one when we're back to being able to work out and being able to be active. And you need strength to take care of babies. You need arm strength and muscle and endurance to all those sleepless nights. And so working out and lifting weights has been vital for me feeling good this pregnancy. So I wanna continue doing that. I do home workouts just because it's easier with my family and my baby and all of that. And I actually am able to stick to my programs more when I do them at home. So that's my goal is to continue doing that. My goal is to work out five days a week and give myself two rest days. And that's one of my goals for November too. 
My fifth goal is to do more YouTube videos at least once a week, and that's where you guys come in. So please send me ideas what you'd like to see more of in regards to nutrition, health, motherhood, cooking, meal prep, recipes, um, spiritual stuff, church life, anything. Um, I am here. I want to provide value for you guys. And so let me know. Email me at tavine.verano at gmail.com. Let me know some ideas you have for for upcoming videos. I am planning on doing one on morning routines next week or the week after, so look out for that one. Um, and let me know what you'd like to see more of, and um, I can provide value for you guys the best I can. So those are my goals for November. Um, continue with my morning routine, spend less on groceries, be more patient with my family, continue lifting weights, and do more YouTube videos. So I encourage you spend some time this weekend. It's only the third of the month. You still have time to set some goals this month to reflect on goals you have for the different areas of your life, whether that's your physical, mental health, relational, spiritual health, financially, all of that, um, all areas of our life um, are important to kind of grow in and work towards a goal in. And I think that really adds value to our lives and helps us grow and prosper in the way that we want to go. So I hope this inspires you. Set some goals, share them with me, um, comment in this video, or email me again, tavine.verano at gmail.com. And I hope you guys all have a great Saturday, a great month, and I will chat with you later. Bye.